Welcome to another episode of Quality Time with Clive. We're taking a look at Scalar, and today we're going to take a look at the Perform features. So right now I have this progression loaded in, and I'm using Saw Square, or Square Saw, I should say. And here's my progression. And I think I have something sequenced already. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to my sequence. All right, nothing really exciting. It's just playing the chords. Nothing more, nothing less. No arpeggiation, no repeated notes, nothing. Just the chord as it is. Let's turn on the perform feature. And you can see right now I have it set to arpeggio and the grid or the fastest moving note would be eighth note. And you can see that I can select a bunch of different note values. Change it for instance to quarter note. Or let's have some fun with 32nd notes. And let's move it back to eighth note. There we go. And let's go ahead and listen to my idea now. And add some drums in. You get the idea. All right, so all I did is I took this idea right here. You'll notice that if I close this window, it's chord one, chord two, and then chord four, chord one, chord two, and then chord three, all right? So I just duplicated this over. And then on this one, I have now selected a different instrument over here, the retro bass, and under perform, I'm now selecting bass. And under the bass, I can, these are where we can select all the different algorithms. So I'm on common bass, basic three. And so let me just solo this for you so you can hear what this sounds like. Here we go. Right, and if I just took off the perform and I played, I just get those chords again. All right, and so I've duplicated this over and brought it over here on melody. And I have here, now under perform, I have melody selected. I'm using motive A1 right here. And I've now selected this hybrid key sound. So let's go ahead and listen to my melody idea. Again, if I took the perform feature off, I just get the chords again, All right? But we want the performance on here. And I wanna make sure that I have the performance on here for the bass. And let's take the solo off and let's just go ahead and do a little demonstration here. So this is all the same chord progression, one with the chords being played as arpeggios, one as the chords being reduced to a bass line following a specific algorithm. And again, the same idea with a melody. And of course I have three different patches or three different instruments on Scalar to create that effect. So here we go with a little drum idea. Let's introduce our melody. And an entirely different idea on top of that. So there you have it, uh, very simple ideas using the perform feature in Scalar 2. And with that, you can see how you can really quickly create a composition. Next episode, I'm gonna show you how to use the MIDI record and drag feature and how to use that to add even more variation and flexibility to your Scalar usage. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, adieu.